This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Speed Changes in Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a fit-to-fill edit where the speed of the inserted clip is altered to match the duration you need it to fill in the timeline. I have a shot and I want to have a shot fill the gap. I put the gap there because I knew I needed a shot. I just wasn't sure what it was. And then I want to fly over the Housatonic golf course, which is in Stockbridge, which is in Massachusetts. From someone living in California, just the concept of that much green grass is just impressive to me. How do I put a shot in? Well, this is totally different than the way Premiere works. Here's how you do this. Let's find a shot. Let's go with our, oh, we'll go with fly fishing. So we'll do fly fishing. I'll set an, an in that represents where I want that clip to start and an out that represents where I want that clip to end, right about there. And notice you grab the clip and drag it on top of a clip. And it pops up a dialog and you say retime with fit, retime to fit. And it's speeding that clip up 265% as we fly over the fly fisherman and then we fly up to the golf course. There's a big limitation here. When you are doing fit to fill, you do not need to set an in or an out in the timeline. Do not. You just need to select a clip. But what happens if I wanted to have this shot start here and end here? Well, then you have a little bit of a workaround. We're going to select the range tool, the keyboard shortcut is R, drag to select the range that you want to have that shot replace. And notice that it's now spanning three clips. You can't do a fit to fill that spans more than a single clip. It has to be a clip. So press the small delete key, not the big one, but the small delete key, and it replaces that selected area with a clip. Now when you bring in the fly fisher, you drop it on top of that now larger clip, say retime to fit, it's now 157% rather than 260, and we're flying over the fly fisherman at a more reasonable speed. So you can, in fact, do a fit to fill over a larger region, but you have to convert that to a clip first, and the small delete key on full-size keyboards is a good way to do it. Then just drag your clip in, Select the clip, retime to fit, and it's done. Is that not cool? This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Speed Changes in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 315. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.